International Women's Day continues to be a powerful platform globally that unifies tenacity and drives action for gender parity while celebrating the social, cultural, and economic achievements of women. This year, the Parliament Channel highlights women in Trinidad and Tobago from all walks of life, including non-traditional sectors. We take a look at their journey, the challenges that were overcome, successes celebrated, and milestones achieved. My name is Deborah Lewis and I'm one of the founders, the current executive director and one of the midwives still practicing at Mama Toto Resource and Birth Center. For many years, um, four of us had been meeting, four midwives. We were all involved with birth in different ways. Some of us were doing childbirth classes, some of us were actually working in birth as a midwife, and we had been meeting informally and sort of supporting each other and saying we wanted to do something. And then finally, a client that we had that was common to all of us, who we call our catalyst, Renee, she had the birth experience with us. And she said, you know, you really have to do something. We said, yeah, we know, but you know, we don't have any money in one day. And she wouldn't give up. And she kept insisting, you must do something. And so eventually, one of her friends helped us write a proposal. We got funding, we purchased this property, and that was the beginning of Mama Toto. Mama Toto is a Swahili word that means mother and baby because we think of them as one unit but it's also a little bit of a play uh, it's the acronym for Mothers and Midwives Alliance of Trinidad and Tobago. When I did nursing I absolutely fell in love with the maternity department and so I decided to pursue midwifery also because um, you know, midwifery is really an autonomous profession where you can take care of normal low-risk women throughout their entire pregnancy for the birth and then up to six weeks after for the mother and the baby. And it just, it's just such a, it's such a nice area. Yes, there are moments of sometimes, you know, things that are not happy occasions, but by far, it's just such a joyous occasion. I really enjoyed it. And so I went into midwifery and I've never regretted it. It's my passion and I just, I love it. We were officially founded in 2004, but we had, when we moved into the property, we had to do renovations. So we started doing visits and our support groups and so on in 2006. And in 2008, January was when we moved back in and we had our first actual birth, which was a water birth. So we've been doing births for last month, would have been 11 years. In an ideal world, midwives would take care of all of the low-risk women and obstetricians would take care of those with complications because that really is their focus. A doula does not do any sort of medical care. She is trained and should be certified. They do physical, emotional, psychological support. So really, uh, we should work together as a team in collaboration and just provide, because we all want the same thing. Ultimately, we want a healthy mom and baby and a safe birth. And so working together, we can you know, provide that to the families. In Trinidad and Tobago in July of last year had our first male midwife so it's absolutely a female dominated field. Um, globally there are male midwives but still very low numbers um, so in our field yes absolutely female dominated and also in nursing um, there are also many female obstetricians but there are definitely gender equity issues that exist. So perhaps midwifery and nursing as a whole have gender equity issues because it's female dominated. Well, I've been doing this for over 30 years. I've been a midwife for over 30 years and each birth is still special because it, that birth is special to that family. It's the only birth for that baby. So it's always new and special and, and, and emotional. You know, and when, I, when I, we're able to provide the care that they want and we see the joy that they feel and, and just how, 
just the, the, the respect and the gratitude for the way they're treated and the experience they're, that they're allowed to have. It just obviously brings joy. I have a particular um, interest in working with fathers. I've done a TEDx talk on fathers being present and at Mama Toto we really support them. So we have created literature, so handouts, that are specifically focused on the father be, during the pregnancy and after. Because a lot of the information that is provided to women that may include something for the man, it's really about how they can support her or how they can help her. And nobody acknowledges that they have feelings as well and they themselves might be going through emotional challenges and so on. So at Mama Toto, we really truly invite them in. We include them in the visit, but we also acknowledge what they're feeling and what they're going through and allow them to express that. So they're really a part of the process because all of the research shows that it makes a tremendous difference in the bonding, not only as a family unit, but between that man and that baby. A woman has the right to have whoever she decides she wants to have with her present. And that man, the father of that baby, has an absolute right to be present for the birth of his child. And we have gotten better. And in almost all of the public institutions now, um, someone, a support person is allowed in. But it needs to become the norm. It needs to be across the board where you're guaranteed, not you know, under certain conditions that you're allowed in. You need to be guaranteed that whoever you want to have, because sometimes the father doesn't want to be present, but if he does, or if the woman decides she wants somebody else, they should be allowed to have a support person with them all the time, throughout the labor and for the birth. You know, what I usually tell people is that it, it, it's not a job. You cannot approach it as a job. You must have some level of compassion and passion for what you want to do. If it's a job, then that is reflected in the care you provided. And it just it doesn't work. So you have to want to do it, especially as a midwife in private practice, because you're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because babies can be born at any time. You have to want to do it. When the phone rings with a woman in labor, you cannot feel like, oh, you know, it must, you must feel like, yes, the joy. And if you can't feel that, then you should not go into the field. Balance for better, I think, is an important theme. Um, I think we still have work to do. We've certainly made great strides as women, but we still have some work to do, so we have to keep working at it. Um, we have to, at the same time, be careful not to absolutely sideline men you know, our partners, um, because they are an important part of it as well. So we can't push them out of the way while we do it, but we do have to bring them along with us, but we have work to do as women to continue the climb up. Women have come a long way, yet there's still more to be achieved. For more information on International Women's Day 2019, Visit our website at ttparliament.org and our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram.